Kenya President William Ruto was selected to represent Africa with an official state visit in the USA this week. Ruto will have American President Joe Biden's ear for a while while he is in Washington. He will certainly have an agenda for his own nation, and he will definitely discuss Kenyan troops going for peacekeeping duties in Haiti. But as the one African leader getting to engage the U.S. government fully, Ruto appears to understand that he also represents his neighbors. Kenya stands as a more confident democracy, thanks in part. He kicked off his trip with an address at the Carter Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Many countries are in economic and debt distress occasioned by climate change and compounded by an unjust international financial architecture and, and also an imperfect multilateralism. We now run the escalating risk of democracy being democracy and free market being associated with poverty and suffering. His reference to climate change was obviously about African countries, which contribute a small percentage of greenhouse gases, but suffer more acutely from the effects of climate change. And taking a swipe at the multilateral international economic system is common among developing nations. Bringing together the African... Later this week, I will have the privilege to engage with members of the American Congress, and I'm happy one of them is here, to make a case for many countries in Africa, including Kenya, seeking a just international financial architecture that will afford every developing country concessionary development financing to support our economies, build resilience against the effects of climate change, drive our belief in free market economy, and energize our democratic enterprise. Somalia will hope that Ruto takes up the issue of territorial integrity, with an eye to Washington leaning on Ethiopia to cancel their deal to recognize Somaliland's sovereignty. The two neighbors have met recently to confer before Ruto flew over the Atlantic Ocean. Certainly, regional security will be on his agenda in speaking with American officials. The war in Ukraine, the conflict in the Middle East, the fighting in Sudan, South Sudan, Eastern DRC, the Sahel, and terrorism in Somalia all demand greater collaboration and strategic global leadership. As the week unfolds, we will find out if Ruto is able to bring about any tangible results from his consultations. And, and I know how God works. And he invited me. ADN-TV will continue to report on the Kenyan president's trip to the United States of America.